Hi you guys. So, it's been a while since I showed my gorgeous, gorgeous face. I don't know why I said that. Um, so today we're doing a manta ray tutorial. Okay, so story time. I haven't made like art for myself. Like I've done sketchbook stuff here and there and like, you know, like a lot of my videos on here have been about either my sketchbook tours or my class assignments that I've been doing time lapses on, um, which I just posted a new video. Go check it out. It's um, we're doing facial features and portraits now in my drawing class, so we had to practice. You know what? Find out for yourself. Go click this little theme of Bobby up here, this little eye that I surely have linked. Anyways, um, so I was on campus today, um, and I like walked through the art building, and I have got like a surge of inspiration um, to do work like to okay like I walked through the art building and I got inspiration to create art for me it's gonna be a 3d piece but I am gonna make it so that I can nail it to my wall because I am struggling with surface area right now in my room because I have a lot of stuff in my room and I'm I'm running out of tables so and table space but I have a lot of wall space still even though even though as you can see it's kind of filling up slowly so follow along for this manta ray tutorial um, and just watch me make an art, make art for myself. And I think that's a very important thing to keep me from burning out as an art student. Um, and I think if any of you guys are art students watching, I think maybe try to take this as a sign to make something for yourself, not just for your classes. You're doing art for a reason. Um, and it's to create pretty things that you like. Um, so yeah, let's cut to the video time lapse thing, voiceover, I don't know, transition, wait, how did I do this last time, I don't know, what should I do this time, should I smack it, I got Yoda. Hello everybody, so this is Nicole doing the voiceover, um, so you're just gonna grab a bunch of cardboard, this is a cardboard manta ray, um, and you can just take a little screenshot of the kind of the layout I showed, but, um, or you could just copy around with what I'm doing. I'll be honest, I don't really do many measurements, I kinda just wing it and hope that it turns out good, so I don't know if you wanna try that, um, if you wanna come up with your own measurements, just like, you wanna get it proportional i guess like feel free um i just i didn't do that so if you want like a more intricate you know like more like super duper step by step manta ray then like i don't think this is a tutorial for you but this one's just super straightforward because you're just watching everything that i do it's like an entire time lapse um so yeah i'm just laying out the different um things like the cardboard and I'm just kind of laying out the shape of it with different pieces of cardboard because the piece I had was not big enough. So if you can see I have like different pieces. I kind of just try to match up with like the, the size of it. Um, so the smaller pieces I just used for the tail and for the, the head and then um, I cut up the wings of it. I don't really know like their flaps and fins. I, I'm, I'm just gonna call them the wings, okay? I just manta rays are the birds of the sea <laughs> Whatever, um, but yeah, I just cut up like it, I just did it in sections that way I can when I hot glue them Spoiler alert, not to spoil, but we are hot gluing later. Hopefully you have hot glue. If not, tacky glue will work. Um, you could try taping it um, with tension, but hot glue is the way that I know how to do it. So um, that is, yeah. So this is what you're supposed to get. Um, but I separate it into pieces. Oh wait, look at this transition. Boom, yeah, so freaking good, bro. Um, but you're gonna see right now, uh, well not right now, just in a bit. Sorry, my voiceovers are a mess, but it's fine. Um, you're gonna see that I hot glue them so that the wings are kind of up, just to look like they're flapping. Um, here, I just traced out the body section for getting like the wings and stuff like that, like the tips of the wings and the tail and the head, just because I wanted uh, just to thicken the body up. Um, 
just a bit you don't have to do this i just personally do it because that's how i did it Ugh, sorry i can't speak that's how i did it with my first manta ray that i ever made um so i just did it again you don't have to do it um earlier in the video i mentioned that it was a 3d manta ray and it is um because the wings make it you know look 3d but it's not like thick it's a pretty pretty flat looking manta ray um but it's just you know something you can actually touch and hold which is why it's 3d Over here, you can see that I'm hot gluing, like I mentioned earlier. I'm just hot gluing the pieces together, blowing it so that it cools a little bit faster, um, securing it, uh, and yeah. I don't glue it on flat. As you can see, it's kind of uh, sticking up a bit, just because I do want it to give the impression of it being like a three-dimensional piece instead of just flat and 2D. Um, so just copy along what I'm doing. Again, do your own thing. You can just get like inspiration I don't know if you hear the car outside, but that's fine. But you just get your inspiration from me or whatever, uh, you know. Here you could see I'm kind of like rolling up the cardboard just so that it like um, gradually slowly goes like up like if it's flapping you know what I mean um, you're gonna see me fold with the other one soon I don't know when I don't know if I do it now but you're gonna see like I kind of roll it up a bit so that it starts curving upward see right there and you curve it up and then it does a little swoop and then it looks like that um, and you know again since I wing everything I kind of just I just hope for the best um, you can see that they definitely don't match up to the creases but that's okay that's how it's gonna look after you hot glue and there's the back and everything and yeah and then you're gonna get that piece the extra piece that you don't need at all um, but again I chose to do it and you're just gonna just roll it up again I guess <laughs> and then you're just gonna figure it out I again I didn't measure anything there's only one little thing I measured I think and it was just the length of the wings um, but that part I had to cut so like I had to cut so much out for it to actually fit because it was the piece was way too big um, but you know just adjust and stuff and then just start hog gluing that as well So this, I don't really know exactly what this is called, but I'm just going to call it transition cardboard. And it's just thinner pieces of cardboard like rolls of paper towel or I think I used a pop tart box at one point. Um, that five below like moon projector thing, I don't think I ended up using that. But it's basically just thinner pieces of cardboard to hide pieces of hot glue and stuff like that so you're gonna see it's gonna make it look a lot smoother and you don't have to do this step I just always choose to because it I don't know I don't really know actually it's gonna get covered with newspaper later but I just choose to do it this way because I personally just feel like it makes it look better in the end a little less lumpy but yeah I love adding the transition cardboard it's my favorite part I'm not gonna lie
ta-da! And that's how it's gonna look, a lot smoother. Um, oh, we just jumped right into it, okay. Yeah, next I just did Mod Podge. Um, I definitely made it way too liquidy, but I just added a bunch of, like, just liquid glue with water. Do the tiniest bit of water possible. Um, did I say Mod Podge? I meant paper mache, but I don't even think this is paper mache. This is just, I did not mean Mod Podge. I'm being so silly right now. Um, it's just liquid glue with a bit of water, and then I just kind of paint it on, and then layer, um, you know, newspaper on it. And I did the back as well. And then you're gonna dry, dry, dry that that thing, and then you're gonna put another layer on top. Um, I kind of, yeah, I missed this spot, but you're gonna put another layer on top of that thing, and then you're gonna dry, dry, dry again. It's it's very fun, super fun, definitely my favorite part. That was sarcastic. Oh my god! And then you're gonna paint and paint and paint and paint, and then I'm pretty, and I just had to dry and dry and dry the paint, but I don't think I have a clip of me drying it. But I had to dry the paint, and then I had to, yeah, you could see it's dry now. And then I did another layer, I think, or no. I did do another layer, but I don't think I put it on camera because it was just painting again. But then I just added little details. I just found a, a manta ray online. You can see my phone's like right there. Um, and I just added cute little details, just like some white. And yeah, just more and more painting. Then we paint more and more. So much painting. Dabble that paint on there. I don't even bother putting it on like a, a easel, not easel, on a, those paint trays. I forgot what they're called. I just plop it right on top and just paint, paint, paint. And then I get a little bit of black with the white on my brush still. Kind of mix it a bit. And then I start adding gills. And then I slowly put more and more black on it just to darken it up and then give it, you know, like that dimension, that shadow, the gill effect basically. And then I just put some around like the corners of like the wings and stuff just because I had extra and I just, I felt like it. And there we go. We have a gorgeous, gorgeous manta ray, all nice and done. And I even dried it but I did not show that, but I dried it even more. I've never used my hair dryer so much until that night. And I'm just nailing it to my wall or like screwing it onto my wall. I see it literally right now. Um, yeah, I just, I have one on my wall as well. I don't know if I show it, I might. I think I might show it right here. Um, I just have another one on my wall. So I just wanted to put the same one, like the same vibe or whatever. Um, it's on the other side, right over there. This one's teeny, teeny, tiny. I made this one like months ago, but yeah. Subscribe to me now. Thank you. Bye.